Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, D. Lloyd. So you guys know I am a huge Tennessee Titans fan. And yesterday, man, the game against the Denver Broncos was pretty shaky, to say the least. Really nothing impressive came out of that game. Offensively, man, we have the most uninspired offense, I feel like, in the NFL. Really can't get anything done. You guys know how I felt about Derrick Henry. But the main topic of the game and the main story that we're going to talk about today was Marcus Mariota getting benched in favor of Ryan Tannehill. And what does that mean for Mariota and the Tennessee Titans moving forward and Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans moving forward? Tannehill was brought in for this very scenario. Mariota struggled with um, staying on the field and staying healthy over the past few seasons. And Mariota's in the final year of his rookie deal. He's making $20 million this season, but slated to become an unrestricted free agent. The Titans have to make that decision. Are you going to keep Mariota and sign him to that extension, or are you going to look elsewhere and maybe try to bring in somebody who could be cheaper or bring in somebody in the draft? Those are what the Titans are really looking at, like the scenarios the Titans are really looking at right now. Mariota this season hasn't really helped himself get a big deal. Yes, he had a couple of decent games, but something seems off really with Marcus Mariota and he's really playing himself into the bubble of being a game manager but the Tennessee Titans and their offense you don't need a game manager clearly Mariota threw his first two interceptions of the season last week he had seven touchdowns zero interceptions coming into the game he threw two so it's not like he's turning the ball over a crazy amount of times but he's also not moving the offense, advancing you down the field, and he's not getting a lot of touchdowns, and our offense really has looked, like I said, uninspired, pathetic at times, lackluster, any word you could really think of, our offense has basically looked throughout the season. So you insert Ryan Tannehill. What does he do? He goes 13 for 16. However, he still threw an interception. He still failed to get a touchdown while he was on the field. Now, is that because mainly he was thrown into the fire? He wasn't really expecting to be out there? Or can that simply be Ryan Tannehill is very similar to Marcus Mariota? Now, we have a you know an even bigger stat or look at Ryan Tannehill right over the years in Miami. And Ryan Tannehill can't stay healthy all the time. He becomes a game manager, essentially. And what is Marcus Mariota at this point? He's basically a game manager who can't really stay healthy. Now, when you look at talent-wise, I think a lot of people will agree, talent-wise, Mariota has more talent than a Ryan Tannehill. But for whatever reason, he seems to me, in my opinion, watching the Titans games, he seems very, very gun shy. And I think there's a lot of different factors that go into that because we had a couple of decent Mariota seasons um, when you go back and look at the stats that surprisingly, you know, he's not performing the same way. Just in the second season, he had 26 touchdowns, nine interceptions, but he hasn't came even close to kind of re- reliving that same season in future years. So, For the Tennessee Titans, right, you have a guy who could go out there and ball. He has, what, nine comebacks, 11 game-winning drives. I mean, the guy is a player when you need him to be one. When you need him to step up, he typically can do that. He doesn't turn the ball over in the red zone. However, the offensive line issues this season is something that we have to address, right? Because, yes, Taylor Lewan, your top lineman, he was out for the first couple of games. Now, Mariota doesn't seem 100% comfortable, right? So... When he's dropping back, it's not all the time a clean pocket. Or when it is a clean pocket, now he's not trusting his receiver. For whatever reason, he is hesitating to pull the trigger on anything that's not five yards or in or eight yards in. The intermediate, the short passing game is really the only place the Titans have really looked this whole season when it comes to throwing the football. Very, very limited shots down the field. But when you look at the play calling, they are calling plays to try to get shots down the field. And on those plays, Mariota is just holding the football, maybe stepping up in the pocket, and then going down for a sack. With this offensive line, you can't do that. You have to trust in your arm. Now, granted, he's not throwing interceptions. And you could look at another guy who was drafted in the same draft class in Jameis Winston. He's the complete opposite, right? Jameis Winston's going to get rid of the football at times and maybe throw it where he shouldn't be throwing it. And that's why he gets so many interceptions. But Jameis Winston's either going to win you a game or he's going to lose you a game. You know every weekend Jameis Winston is going to play a major role in what happens. It's the opposite with Marcus Mariota, man. He's a guy who 
He's just there. Feel like he's along for the ride. And I was a huge fan of him. I was a huge proponent of the Titans drafting him with the second overall pick. I thought that the Titans were getting a better quarterback. And I still think if Mariota ever got into the right system, could start trusting himself into getting open. Because even with the Titans wide receivers, yes, you could say they're not the greatest wide receivers in the world, but you don't have terrible wide receivers. Yes, you don't have a major star to go to like James has, you know, in um, Mike Evans. But Corey Davis, I think, is a solid guy. Um, A.J. Brown's been playing decent. You still have Humphreys as well. You have a decent core. But for the Titans, you need somebody who could come in and make plays, not a game manager. Because with those weapons I just said, none of those guys are real playmakers. Maybe A.J. Brown can at some point in his career. But nobody else is a real you know, playmaker who's going to put the team in the game on his back and win you and win the game for you. None of those guys are even Derrick Henry is a guy who I don't think is going to win you a game. You need one of those guys at quarterback. I think it's a tough decision because I don't think Ryan Tannehill or Marcus Mariota is really the answer for the Tennessee Titans. Now, will the Titans maybe try to get a cheap deal for Marcus Mar- Mariota for another year or two while they kind of get another quarterback to back him up and maybe groom him along? Possibly. But um, Daniel Jeremiah basically said it best when he was even comparing Mariota with Jameis Winston. He said Marcus Mariota misses too many layups and Jameis Winston attempts too many threes. I think that is dead accurate. But what we seen yesterday doesn't help either. So the quarterbacks with the highest percentage of negative plays, which includes sacks, fumbles, interceptions, one was Ryan Tannehill and two was Marcus Mariota. Like I said, um, I think there are a lot of the same guys. If it's me, I think the Titans should stick with Marcus Mariota. I'm hoping that this could maybe be a wake-up call for him to get his stuff together and start throwing the football. At this point, I'd rather you make mistakes trying to throw the ball down the field. Make mistakes trying to make plays with your legs. Marcus Mariota runs a 4-4-8. You can get out there and run. He doesn't really do it. So we'll see what the Titans decide on doing. I know Coach Vrabel said that by Tuesday they will have a decision, but is it time for the Titans really to move on from Marcus Mariota? (sighs) Unfortunately, man, I think this is his last chance. I think right now you roll with him the rest of this season because we know Ryan Tannehill is not going to be the guy in the future. He's not going to be the one that you want to be your starting quarterback four seasons from now. And if Ryan Tannehill doesn't clearly outperform Marcus Mariota. You have to give the nod to Mariota for now. But I think, man, Marcus Mariota could definitely be on another on another team next season. But the Titans, I think, you have to roll with number eight for the foreseeable future, man, even though it hasn't looked good. But you have to come up with something. Get creative somehow and definitely instill in Mariota to start throwing the ball, man, to start letting things loose and hopefully, you know, He can start making some plays, man. But that is my take on the situation. I think Mariota, like I said, on his last couple games, I'm hoping that that was not his final start as a member of the Tennessee Titans. Former number two overall pick a guy. I was hyped. Heisman Trophy winner. Hasn't really played like that besides really just one season in the NFL. But you guys let me know your thoughts on the situation. Should the Titans stick with Mariota? Should they go with Ryan Tannehill? Will Mariota be on the Titans next season? Is he the guy to really move forward with? Or should they just basically get rid of this entire situation and look for another quarterback in the offseason? You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm see y'all next time. Peace.